beautiful soul family and welcome. Uh, so I just wanted to say a big thank you to all of you out there that have been sending Reiki, healings, prayers, and thank you for all your beautiful messages of kindness and love towards uh, Ray Luce. Uh, he is still in uh, hospitalization and I think that tomorrow, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we will go pick him up. And of course, Sandy's been feeling better too. So thank you again for all the beautiful messages, healings that you're sending, positive, uh, you know, uh, uh, vibrations and uh, thank you for uh, being there and uh, you know it has been a very tough month but uh, you know I'm very glad that um, you know that I could uh, that I could feel the support and love from all of you out there and um, it just means a lot to me and my mom also wants to tell you that she's still praying for all of you here on YouTube three times uh, a day not three times a week three times a day she does it in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening, uh, sometimes even after supper. And uh, so she does a lot of uh, praying and singing for all of you out there in the way that she uses her uh, her praying modalities. And so, uh, you know, if there's a message you want to send out to someone or pray for someone or pray for your family, your children, your fur babies, or even for pain, uh, even for something that you're having a hard time letting go of, you know, you could always leave in the messages below. If not, you could email me too if you feel that you don't want to write it on, in the messages uh, on the YouTube. If you check underneath the video, there's everything that you need to know about me and where to reach me. And I also want to give a big thank you to all of you uh, that have been sending donations. Now, underneath the video, there's a thank button. And that's like YouTube that has given me that uh, in the past month. So for those of you that... Uh, you know, I know that a lot of you wanted to send uh, donations and uh, some of you are very stubborn about it. And so there it is for those of you that do, you don't need to, but if you want to, it's the button is underneath the video. And uh, so again, um, I really am grateful for all of you out there and let's get started with your readings. Right, Sandy? You gonna say hi to everybody? <laughs> Hello, my beautiful soul family, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from July 11 to the 17, and we'll see who's up next. And it is Pisces. All right, Pisces. How are you all doing, Pisces? So um, anywhere that you have Pisces in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time. If the reading resonates, you claim it. But if it doesn't, then look at your other placements. Of course, the most basic ones is your ascendant sign. The moon is about emotions. Venus is about love, finances, and beauty. And those of you that are walking a different path or uh, just a spiritual path, then you should look into your north node. In the reading, take what's yours and let the rest go. And also feel free to swap the energies around if you feel that I'm not talking about you. Um, also, I could also be talking to a cross watcher. So please uh, bear that in mind. And for those of you that are customers out there uh, that ask me, uh, you know, they're welcome into the reading. But those of you that ask me, uh, the customers, if you should watch both of the reading, uh, both of your signs, yes, you should, and see which one resonates with you more or less. You'll know. Okay. Now, um, um, you're asking, what am I doing now? I'm just, uh, set, I'm just um, setting aside uh, some oracle cards, and at the end of the reading, I will give them to you. And also, there's you're going to be there going to be your, uh, you know, a message from your garden angels. Uh, there's also going to be a message from your angels, uh, your crystal, and some affirmations here. Okay, let's see what's going on here. What is your challenge of the week for Pisces? What is the challenge? Solitude, completions, and wanting some time to yourself here. Maybe wanting to have inner peace uh, in your home, with your family, whatever the case here, okay? So, solitude. It's time to reflect. Okay. So, in the reading, Pisces, uh, I'm going to show you the situation, what's crossing you, which is a good challenge as well. Um, you also the root. In the recent, and I was going to show you the recent past, your current energy, what is doing from you, and the possible outcome, and then I will clarify the cards as well. 
then at the end of the reading, I will give you your oracle card. For those of you that want to stay. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Let's look at the situation at hand. We got death. So you're dealing with a Scorpio. That's what I got right away. Or you're just going through a huge transformation. What is crossing you in your challenge is the Five of Cups. Okay. I feel like the old you is gone and there's a new you being replaced here. Um, and in the root, you got the Seven of Swords. You keep, and a lot of you have been keeping this to yourself, uh, whatever it is that, that you have been going through. Let's look at the recent past till now. Pisces. You got the Sun. In the current energy, you got the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Let's look at the immediate future and how you're feeling. The Page of Cups. It's like a death and rebirth here. Uh, what is uh, being hidden from you? The King of Pentacles and the Hopes and Fears. You got the five or the six, the six of swords. Let's look at the possible outcome. The nine of wands. And in the re in the overall, you got the seven of pentacles. Okay, let me just like take a look at all your cards here. Like, so the solitude card comes in handy because for some of you out there, who are going through a huge uh, transformation and there's a lot of death and rebirth. And um, it's also that what I feel here in, in the energy is that a lot of you have been keeping a lot of things to yourself. So there's been, there's a sense of keeping things to yourself. You, 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 you know, uh, you have, you had conflict in a situation here where um, there was a lot of conflict and you had to make decisions uh, based on, uh, because maybe some of you did not talk about it. I feel like that maybe some of you did not like really reach out to anybody and talk about your innermost feelings. And so you had to go through this conflict. But I also feel at the at that same time is that you're freeing space. There's more openness, okay? So let's look at this together. So you've got in the situation, the death card with the five of cups. So definitely you're releasing something here. This could be just a, a, maybe some, some, something of the past that took place or even childhood is what I'm picking up here. Uh, the resentment, the hurt, the guilt here, you're releasing it. Okay, you're trying, you're finding that silver lining. Um, there could be regret here as well. Okay, for those of you, there could be like an ending. There's, an, there's definitely an ending or some type of ending that took place here. Um, a lot of you have been keeping things to yourself. Or there's, there also, there's also an energy of, uh, of someone not wanting to share something, okay? So uh, in the recent past till now, you did get the sun card in the current. So this is the past till now in the current energy. You got the sun, you got the queen of pentacles with the seven of cups. This is about joy and happiness being restored in the current energy. It's about positive vibes. Okay, and you feeling like a child again because this death and rebirth that you had to go through brought that inner child coming in. It's about your stability. It's about you being caring and nurturing. And you have so many goals and options here, okay? And so many uh, daydreams and fantasi fantasies here. Um, you have, you could dream really big. And this is how you're feeling right now in the current energy while you're dealing with something also here on the side where a lot of you are not really telling people. In the immediate future, you've got the Page of Cups. So again here, this talks about there is some type of offering. It's the beginning stages of, okay, definitely. The beginning stages of something here. And there's possibilities and there's uh, possibilities and opportunities. Uh, there is someone here that's very sensitive. This could be you and energy, feeling very sensitive. 
coming out of this, maybe you're offering a cup to someone as a friendship. There is some type of emotion attached to it, but it's at the beginning stages of it. And what's hidden from you is the King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It doesn't have to be that. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the old okay, Anyways, we'll go there after. Uh, this this signifies prosperity, financial abundance. It's about uh, protection, provider. There's an energy of a provider here, success and victory. Really being like, it's almost like the Arafin card and the Emperor card when you touch the King of Pentacles. And you, what I do see is that you're going through a transition. You're leaving something behind. You're leaving an emotion behind, a person behind, or a situation that you had to go through behind. It could be a thought pattern. It could be a habit for some of you. And you're moving on to a better place, okay? And in the possible outcome, you got the Nine of Wands. A lot of you have are very cautious and you have your boundaries up. Um, and you're, pers you're still very persistent to move forward. There is completions here. In the overall, you got the Seven of Pentacles. There's something you're reviewing here, whether it's your money or just whatever it is, in all in general, you are reviewing at this time. And uh, you're, you know, you're, you're almost like, I feel like crossroads in, in a situation. Uh, so you're asking why something is not moving quick and quickly enough. And what Spirit is uh, telling me here is uh, definitely that there's, uh, there's a need to be patient here, okay? Because there will be some type of growth in whatever this is for you, all right? So now we're going to clarify the cards and see what else is going on. So you've got number 77 here. For those of you that want to know the actually, you got 777. start clarifying let's look at the seven of pentacles in the overall the strength card the ace of cups the the sun and the four pentacles you're holding on to something here whether it's money a situation that you have been comfortable in, even if it's been uncomfortable, if you know what I mean. Okay, and because you are going through a death and rebirth here, and an energy, I feel that this is has is is being released from you. Uh, with the Seven of Pentacles again, you've got the Four Pentacles, the Strength, the Ace of Cups, and the Sun card. Some of you are dealing with Leo, if not in the month of August, I feel July, August of 2022. There's going to be a sense of renewal. This is what I feel for you. Um, I feel that you're going to be opening your heart. Some of you are opening that heart and healing it. Okay, definitely here. Okay. But it talks about like having the inner strength, having the courage here. And it's about handling any situation that comes your way. I feel that there's going to be a sense of endurance that you're going through. Like, or you're very, you're persistent moving forward and getting what your needs are. There is a sense of abundance because the sun card is abundance. The ace of cups is an abundance. There could be new love here. There could be also unconditional love, forgiveness, okay, um, that you have to go through, okay, and opening that heart chakra. But it's very peaceful in energy. There, like I said, new love, abundance in energy, and the sun is shining on this, okay? Um, but there's a sense of, like, what I feel here is that slowly, slowly you're releasing something from the four pentacles to, this, uh, to of course, the... Uh, to the seven of pentacles so let's look at the death card you got the two of wands so a lot of you are making plans right now let's say you're dealing with a scorpio it doesn't have to be that you're dealing with a scorpio but let's say you're making plans right now whether you're like you're going through this transformation this death and rebirth and energy you're still making plans, you're still making future plans, you're making progress, you're making decisions, but there's still something holding you back here. Let's look at the Five of Cups and what's crossing you and your challenge. The Emperor. 
and the seven of swords here in the root we have the high priestess i feel that now this i don't know if this will pertain to all of you out there but there is someone out there though i do feel very strongly pisces that some of you are going within you're not saying anything but you're also going within and you are trying to figure your psych out something about you trusting your intuition and trusting your gut okay uh, because you do have the high priestess on the seven of swords um i feel that you see things very differently than others with the five of cups you got the emperor energy you could be dealing with the divine masculine or this is you in energy this is about stability it's about uh, of course it's about stability it could be some type of commitment it doesn't have to be but you're setting up new rules and boundaries you're going to be different this time around okay uh there's a sense of being different being more solid here okay um i'm picking up here also that um you know it's like there's something that needs to take place or there's some type of action that needs to take place you're getting also the ace of pentacles so there is like some type of more maybe a new financial opportunity coming knocking at your door or this could be that someone is coming in here and bringing in this type of stability and you have so many goals and dreams and desires here and you have so many options because you could you you are a dreamer uh pisces and you could have as much as you can i feel like there's an opening to that okay of this some type of stability here but you are setting up new rules and new boundaries here that's definitely okay and uh it's it's all about your stability here and taking action I'm just gonna take another card for the two of wands and the death card you got the king of pentacles again this is about for a lot of you this is about like maybe you're dealing with someone here that is very solid or this is about your prosperity it's about your stability here um it's about your financial success there is like i do feel that you oh, some of you are waiting for something here you're waiting for some type of financial assistance and let's look at the seven of swords with the high priestess energy five of pentacles the death uh, the hermit okay so definitely here what's taking place is that a lot of you are in solitude maybe some of you are dealing with a virgo if not you are turning within you're fi you're trying to find the truth here you're searching for the truth you're, but you're going within and you're asking yourself the questions and you are you are the, the the hermit card is about a journey that you have to go through so there is a journey that you have to go through alone and that's exactly what you're doing with the seven of swords and you're very intuitive okay so you you are you could be it's about you even touching base with that for some of you okay because this something that took place in the past where there was a lot of interferences with people and places with the three of cups and there was a sense of someone leaving you behind there is a ban abandonment issues here okay but the thing with the hermit card is that you can't turn your back you try to be aware of the signs around you and not turn your back while you are searching for your truth okay that's very important now let's look at the uh, the sun card here in the current energy the ace of swords very nice Let's look at the Queen of Pentacles. That's touching everything here. Justice, Libra energy. And let's look at the Seven of Cups. The Five of Cups. Giant. Nine of Cups. Really, you're very much resilient here. Um, you're pushing through. Even though you've been going through a lot, Pisces, and I know that you have been going through a lot, of something of a relationship of the past or something in the past year that really really shocked you or put you in that type of energy of abandonment okay you're still persevering and moving forward and the universe is coming in to bless you because with the sun card and the ace of swords you there is a breakthrough definitely a breakthrough here and uh, it's about the truth you're going to gain the clarity that you need and it's about holding the vision. So whatever vision you have for yourself in the near future or now in the current energy. With the Queen of Pentacles, you got justice. So this is about fairness. It's about the karmic scales that are going to be finally balancing your way. And it's about the truth. 
So definitely something coming into balance here when it comes to your stability or your finances. With the Seven of Cups, I got the Five of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Chariot. So yeah, you have many goals and desires and dreams. It could be also a bit confusing at, at, at times. Uh, but with the five of cups again, you are releasing. You're you're, you're releasing, and you're, you're 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 accomplishing. You're you're in, you're merging. You're integrating. You're crossing over a bridge here, okay? Where there is a wish fulfillment that you truly still desire. This is not stopping you. Um, you're doing the healing, and maybe it's a material, whatever it is here. With the chariot cancerian energy, some of you could be happy in cancerian energy. If not, this in the month of June and July. I feel that a lot of you, you triumphed over something here. And this is about you taking, you finally took control of your life. You finally found the direction that you needed to go. And you're moving forward. Definitely, you're moving forward from this Five of Cups energy. Very nice. Now, let's look at the Page of Cups here. In the immediate future. Eight of Swords. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Eight of Wands. Of sorts yeah you're in your head about something that's definitely here you're you're waiting for something you're in your head about something some of you really need to open that heart chakra energy because you did get the ace of cups energy right you got three aces on the ground up to now uh but the, it's it's like you're feeling stuck you're overthinking something just maybe it could be negative thoughts about the past or feeling about like sometimes it happens that you could be having great days but there's also days that you will need to go within and you know and uh, do stop that negative self-talk because i do believe that there could be negative self-talk here and you and you're you, you've been waiting for something and you do have to make possible you know you have to make difficult choices along the way there is a possibility here of something starting for you whatever this is for you and there is news and messages that are coming in and there's a, a lot of swiftness and a lot of fast like you, you need to move fast you, you go here you have to go there you, you're, you're very busy here it shows me okay uh, but it's, it's, um, there's a sense of where I feel that, let me just uh, take an extra card here with the eight of swords, the eight of wands and the two of wands, the swords. Yeah. So while you're going through all of this, okay, like I said, you are going to gain clarity. That's a hundred percent. You are coming into balance here because you've been giving a lot of your time to people or situations out there, okay? Maybe you've been generous with your time, with your money, with your charity, just a lot of giving and being there for others. And so now is your time to receive, and this is what's taking place with the Six of Pentacles. So there is a time of receiving. Now let's look at this King of Pentacles and what is hidden from you. Ten of Wands. The Queen of Wands, the Page of Cups. Definitely, there's possibilities and opportunities here. Yes, there's been a lot of obstacles and stress and burdens, and you've been carrying a lot on your shoulders. But the Ten becomes a One. Something is lifting off your shoulders, and this has to do with all your. Con this has to do with your determination with the Queen of Wands, not only with your determination, but with your confidence and whatever it is that you're passionate about here. Okay, because with the King of Pentacles, like I say, there is prosperity here. There is stable. There's some type of, or stableness in a, in a situation here. And you did get the King of Pentacles twice here. Let's look at the Six of Swords. You got the world. There's an ending of a cycle that you had to go through. You're completing something. Definitely here. Okay. While you're going through this transition. It could be maybe relocating or moving. Whatever the case here, this could also mean going on vacation for some of you. But whatever it is here, um, you're you're stepping away from a time where I feel Pisces where there was a lot of negativity or toxic energy or you, you know or something that you know like kept reminding you reminding you of something of the past year and you're moving along with it and with the world card you are. There, there's an ending that's taking place. There's an ending of a cycle for you. And it's an important one. So you're level, leveling up, okay? So you're graduating to the next level. And there is success, but you are, are at pause. Though, even though you want to have the solitude, you're being called. A lot of people call upon you, all right? Uh, you are needed. Let's look at the nine of wands here in the possible outcome. You got the death card, Scorpio. The two of cups. The Queen of Cups. 
the King of Swords, the Ten of Swords. Judgment. There is a judgment here. Whether you have to make a judgment or there's someone that has to make a judgment here, you are going through an awakening and you are going through a rebirth. Okay, so at the same time, this is what you're going through. There's a higher calling for you in this situation. Yes, there was an ending of a situation. There was maybe a betrayal that could have been um, something that ran its course. And there is light at the end of the tunnel. So you are going through a transformation with the death card. Of course, there's death and rebirth. Or this could be someone here that's coming in as a Scorpio with the Two of Cups. There could be a partnership here or romance or some type of attraction here. And uh, this has to do with uh, also uh, your intuition. But it also has to do with the Queen of Cups and energy is that there is someone here that's emotionally available and is able to give love. Okay, fully, trustingly. And with the King of Swords energy... Um, what I see here is that this could, you could be dealing with someone in this energy or this is you. You have a lot of experience here. This is about you remaining objective, right? Remaining objective. Uh, it's about sticking to the facts that you know. And it's about attaining those goals. And it's about you being observant. Because that's what you're doing with the Hermit card also and with, uh, with the High Priestess energy, okay? So this is exactly... And it's a beautiful, it's it's like, it's. there's a lot of experience here. I feel like you're opening your mind. You're opening your mind, but not only your mind, but you're opening yourself up. Okay, there's a sense of you being more open than how you used to be before. Or just an expansion here of something is what I'm picking up. Now we're going to look underneath the deck because usually there's answers here too. You've got the Three of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. Okay, you've got the Eight of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands in energy. So whatever it is that you're working on, whatever you're putting a lot of work on, okay, this is about new energy coming in. could be a new job, a new opportunity, a new romance. It's about passion within you and all around you, okay? And it's about, this is a, there's expansion here. It's beautiful. Uh, I do see with the Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Wands here is that your manifestations are here. You're leaving something and a lot behind as your departure, as you're moving on. There is someone here that's working slowly towards their goals. This could be you or someone that's coming in very slowly. And there is cooperation and there is teamwork and there is building together here. And it's also about success. So this is very positive. Okay. So now, Pisces, let's go to your Oracle cards. Let's see what your guardian angels want to tell you. And there's a prayer that they want to share with you. They say, Dear Guardian Angel, help me dissolve past guilt or regret. Help me to see that all is always in perfect and divine order. Help me to let go of the fear that I project on my future. Help me to live fully within each precious moment and feel your eternal love within and around me. Help me to realize and fulfill my true potential. Thank you. And that's a prayer for you. Uh, let's see the crystals you have here. So your heart chakra, the fourth chakra, which is the Anahata, is the color green. The stones are green, pink, and the location is the chest. It physically governs the arms, the chest, the heart, the lungs, and the thymus. Emotionally, it governs love, heartbreak, grief, pain, self-love, unconditional love, acceptance, and compassion. And the symptoms here could be fearful feeling not fearful or unworthy or unemotional, or there could be relationship issues or emotional, just emotionally volatile, okay? And so this is where your heart chakra is being activated here at this time and being healed. And the crystal that you got is the fire agate. This is also, this is for the root chakra and it stimulates vitality and passion. It energizes the aura. It connects the body's energy to the earth and it acts as a shield to the body. It brings grounding, security, and safety. It awakens sexuality and vitality. It helps to overcome addictions and it relieves stress during difficult times. So fire agate and your heart is being activated at this time and being healed. From the angels you got within the next few weeks. Okay, and the moonology, you got the full moon in Gemini. The answers you need are coming. Uh, uh, Pisces. I almost said Cancer. So the answers you need are coming. This is the full moon in Gemini. So this could be like a soulmate energy, I feel for you. Or there's, there is something that you need to choose here. 
there's choices that you have to make with it between partnerships, friendships, anything, even thought forms. Now, in the cosmic uh, cosmic guidance, you got head. So we're gonna look at this together. I think this is the first time I get this card. So yeah, definitely. I think so. Okay, this is about logic and evaluation. Your affirmation is, if you want to write down it down below, it's I am in touch with my logical mind in order to make the best choice. I am in touch with my logical mind in order to make the best choice. I'm in touch with my logical mind in order to make the best choice. And so it is. The universe is telling you to listen to your head rather than your heart. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's contradicting, but, but anyways, this has to be something. The head is rational and looks at problems in a logical way evaluates the pros and cons of various situations, it assesses the strengths and the weaknesses, measures the possible risks. Our brain analyzes and organizes data, which comes from our past memories and experiences to make logical assumptions about the future and facilitate our decision-making. If the card came up as, uh, up, as, uh, up as an answer to a specific question, approach your current situation logically, weigh the positive and the negatives. If the card came up in a general reading, the message is that it's time to focus on your mind and thoughts rather than your emotions. And the exercise here is logically weigh up the pros and cons about what you are uncertain about. Okay, all right. Now let's look at the hidden truth oracle to see if there's a message for you, uh, Pisces, or uh, you're giving a message to someone. Okay, so first message is, I bury myself in work to forget you. I'm starting, no, wait a second. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. I hide behind material things. I'm starting to understand our connection and I can't stop thinking about you. So Pisces, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Don't forget to comment, of course, like, like, of course, because if you do like the video, it does keep me afloat here on YouTube. Uh, um, share and subscribe. Know to have your back and I love you all. Remember, together we are love, together we are light, and together we are one. And Pisces, keep shining that light wherever you go because you are needed. Please take care and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.